Hey YouTubers. So today's job is to check the water out, check the water tank and also check the hot water tank. Since I've bought Millie, it's been too cold. So the first thing I did was I drained all the water out, etc. And I've not done anything with it since. So I'm gonna go fill the water tank up, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. Uh, probably have to do it by bottled water and then get the water pump going and check out the hot water tank. Well, that's the first problem. Can't seem to get the water uh, cap off. It's one issue after another with this old old girl. Uh, right, plan B. So if something doesn't move, it should move, WD-40 it. What did we do before WD-40, eh? Answers below. How many of these do you think it'll take to fill that huge tank? So, uh, top tip, before filling your water tank up, make sure you close off the water bleed valve. Uh, that's just all started emptying out again. Look, I caught it. So, let's start again. So, some, in fact, most motor homes have a water, fresh water gauge that somehow tells you how much water is in your fresh tank. Of course, Millie being Millie, the one that is connected doesn't work, probably hasn't ever worked. So we're left to the old school way of banging the water tank. That's about quarter full. I'll put a few more in. that one and you'll get air coming through but you want to run it until you get this flow as you can see there's there's, there's no air in the pipes now that's working fine let's go check the bathroom there you go clear clear through means there's no blockages or or anything like that so cold water works right before doing anything, Google's your best friend, get some useful instructions, read up on them, and understand your appliances. So these are your three lights. Operation simple, just turn on. Now green and amber means there's not enough voltage, but I'm on mains, so that doesn't make sense. Um, and red means it fails to light. So just take these screws out to get into the, the burner. This is your drain valve. So I recommend it in winter, drain all the water that's inside there. This I believe is the overfill. So. Okay, so once you've taken the cover off <coughs> and this, this is on as well, this just kind of sits on. So this is hotter temperature adjuster. When you lift it up, there isn't really one there, so I'm not quite sure what I do here. A bit dirty. This is actually the gas burner. That's a spark lighter. Just assume, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna test that. Uh, I guess this lights, this heats this up, and this is the water tank in the back, which then obviously warms the water up. So I do these mistakes 
purely for you guys. So the hot water tank is run by gas. If you're using gas and checking your hot water tank to see if your hot water boiler works, you need to make sure you turn the gas on. Uh, let's try now, shall we? All right, I'm an idiot, but I'm learning. I'm an idiot who is learning and hopefully we'll only make the same mistake several times. <laughs> we have only got ignition. We have hot water. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a flame, which means we've got hot water. So putting it all back together again, and let's try it again. Okay, so a bit about the Culver Cascade Mark II. As you can see, that's the gas supply. So most will have a gas supply. You've got the cooled water inlet, which is the blue, and the hot water coming out. I'll just make it stop. Not really warm, but let's see. Hey. But hot water. Happy days. So we know that the boiler works. One less thing to worry about. So there you go. We have hot water. So thing to remember is the carver cascade 2 only works on gas and you need to make sure that the gas is turned on at your gas bottle and also make sure that it's turned on at the valve next to the hot water boiler so i'm sure you would have known that anyway but i thought i'd do a video and not bother just so you could see what happens if you don't have the gas turned on by the bottle. See, things I do for you guys, so and girls and ladies, is so you don't need to make these sort of mistakes. All right, I, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I'm happy we've got hot water. I've checked, there doesn't seem to be any leaks anywhere. So, uh, another bit that in the old girl that seems to be working. So, the big the last big job now is to see if I can get the gas heater to work. Uh, if it doesn't then I just rip it out and put a diesel heater in probably not going to bother uh, like I say uh, I'm not going to spend any more money on the actual motorhome part until we get the engine all sorted and, and working great uh, which is the powered steering so fingers crossed we can get the parts somewhere and we can get the powered steering sorted other than that then Mini's not going to go far, uh, but I'm still going to carry on tinkering. But I've done, you know, the list of jobs that I've had to do uh, that I wanted to do to get her ready. So all we need to do now is to get the vehicle sorted. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, then why not? Click to subscribe, comment below. Uh, tell me if you're enjoying what I'm putting out there. Or tell me if you're not. Yeah, I mean, I just, who knows what the next video is going to be. Till the next time. See you later, YouTubers. Bye.